Hello everyone, and welcome to the Woodyville server. So right now, you don't know where I am. Right, because right here, I am beta testing our first dungeon. That's why I said beta testing, meaning uh, hopefully everything looks like it's going to be okay. As long as I uh, can make my way through this. Which right now looks like I should because all the mobs are fighting each other. I am perfectly fine with this. Go zombie, go get him. Go do all the work for me. Or, or, or not. So I've just given myself a bunch of gear. Protection 4 and breaking. A bean of arthropod sword. Actually that's rather important to have a bean of arthropod sword because... This is the theme, Swordfish and Spiders. Sounds like that could be the new Dungeons and Dragons game. So, first thing you need to do is actually find the entrance to the underground maze. Well, it's not a maze, it's, a, it's basically a straight line, but I'm going to link it a maze of tunnels. Luckily, I happen to know where it is. It's right here. But there are lots of mobs around, so and there are more mobs coming. So, yeah, I need to take care of them. And I'll take any three carrots. Hmm, probably should have given myself a sharpness sword as well as the uh, bane sword, but oh well. It'll be fine. One, two, three. I don't know what I'm counting. I was, maybe I saw all the mobs just died when I did that. There we go. Right, let's let's go down into the cave. And first thing we find is a spider nest. Quite a few of these spider nests. Unfortunately, the cave spiders don't seem to be able to poison. I don't know why that is. Whether there's some sort of dungeon setting, but we tried searching for it and we can't find it, so. Oh yeah, and also gave myself uh, my wondrous Christmas. I just found it lying around in a random chest in the game's world. So I just thought, eh, I'll just borrow this for the for the test. I haven't bothered giving myself ultra mega god army, you know, like <laughs> literally all enchantments at level 500 because I want to do at least a slightly realistic test. And I would say the main problem I'm going to have here is my armour wearing out. I've done other tests back before I finished the dungeon. And I did find that the main problem was that durability. This unbreaking is going to come in handy. And if you've got mending on your armour, that is going to be really useful. In order to uh, make sure that these silverfish just don't wear off. And wear away all your armour because there are a lot of... Swordfish, and they might not do much damage by themselves. Hmm. Might need to edit that spider so that it appears a bit sooner. Because I don't like how it just appeared right in front of my face like that, just for no reason. Uh, maybe the same for these those zombies there. Just make it so that they. Oh my god, more swordfish. Yeah, I I I know all the mobs spawn. I totally don't remember where all the mobs board, so I'm going to get surprised by the swordfish every single time. Maybe I need to make the spawning a bit faster here, because they're just appearing. I'm taking them out faster than they can spawn. And I think that this should really be um, a dungeon designed for probably two people working together. Maybe two people who are a bit lower lower level, lower down the I don't know, the tech tree is the best word I can think of. That's going to do with appearing a tad earlier. Ah, ah. Although the advantage is you do get ambushed quite a lot on this map. 
Right. Still up here. Knew there was somewhere. Fun fact, very deliberately placed cobweb here in order to uh, slow players down because a player could just be saying, yeah, 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 I'm just going to run past it all and then they get caught in the cobweb and then they're forced to fight. So it's basically a way to make sure players don't just run through everything and just say, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna win. I'm going to just go to the end. Nah, I want them to have to be fighting a bunch of stuff. Hello, Zomble. You're just a random Zomble. Again, just to slow people down. Like, basically, a bunch of stuff I've placed around is just to slow people down, so they have to fight the silverfish. At least that's the idea. Oh, God, there are millions of them. Well, I guess it is a, the silverfish layer, so it does make sense. This is where the silverfish are meant to live. Right, where am I? Oh, I always get confused at this point because I know what happens, but I never realise until I've reached this point right here about what's happening. And uh, you'll see. I guess, I guess this is a, this entire thing is basically a giant preview. It's almost a walkthrough in a way. But here we are at another spider nest. And we come to our first mandatory prize chest. Yay, we get the wards. Uh, there are other chests around. Some of them you do have to take a slightly diverting route. I did decide to take the shortest route. There was a divergent route earlier, but I didn't. So let's see. Seven string. Yeah, really useful. But hey, I got I got two hundred. And more importantly, I now need to come back here because I just reached a dead end, where a new route just opened up. This is why I always forget where I am because this, these were originally bushes. Out leaves and uh, there are more silverfish and then it opens up when you reach that point so of course you have to sort of backtrack a little bit which also means that if you did skip any silverfish by rushing ahead you've got to come back and fight them so that was the whole idea about that bit there ah now this is a good room nightmare good the message comes up excellent so hoping that would work. I've never actually haven't actually tested it. And yeah, we there are millions of endermites. The nightmare silverfish. Uh, if this dungeon actually turns out to be a success, I, I might actually add on a whole extra like add on eventually. Where once you've actually beaten the final boss, you can come back to this room and then there's a new area have opened up and you go to a new nightmare realm. I, I don't know. That, that was my idea. It could still be, but you need to make sure that people actually want to play dungeons first. And this is going to be the first test, obviously. How is my armor doing? Okay, it's doing okay. Good. Good. That's very good. Out and breaking three, definitely helping. And uh, we've got into another spider nest. I thought it's so much of the cave spiders could poison. That would increase the difficulty of this dungeon by who knows what percentage. Just imagine getting poisoned down by a by a cave spider and then just being finished off by a silverfish. Because they're just everywhere. Uh, that would be deadly. <laughs> that would be rather embarrassing too. Uh, one more spider. It's lost. Now let's have a look. Ah, we went and it mined a mine shaft. Oh, and there's more stuff. And here come more things wanting to attack. So much stuff. And oh, hello. Forgot about you. Oh, I can shoot you, I forgot. Of course. There we go. Oh, uh, you could do with appearing a bit earlier. You just appeared right in front of my face. There we go. Easy. Easy. Well, in fact, I just triggered a trap. Well, you don't trigger a trap, but it's a it's a it's an ambush. <laughs> you get about a million zombies and a bat for some reason. I decided to rest and a bat for the sake of it. 
Okay, so you've got, to, you've got to add all the mobs yourself. No mobs naturally spawn in these dungeons. You've got to specify every single mob. Okay, and I can uh, get some stuff. Got some stuff. And if you come right up to the chest, you get another ambush. And I don't know where that zombie is. Oh, there you are up there. Come down. There we go. Good zombie. Wonder oh, and then more mobs just appear. These zombies right here are also designed to sort of slow player down, so they just can't rush past the ambush and they get forced. Also, there more zombies back there, just in case they backtrack or you've got a partner who's lagging behind. So, just extra stuff. And then come down here, and it's another ambush. Definitely the theme of this dungeon. Ambush. Ambush and armor durability. Now, I could come over here, but there are more mobs. And I could go over to that chest. But fun fact, that's a troll chest. It contains literally nothing and it just causes you to get ambushed. Yeah, get one pink die and one dollar. Totally worth getting am getting ambushed by a whole bunch of stuff. And then where'd you go? Well, two options. Let's try going down this way. And it's a wreck. It's a cave in. Well, we're not going that way. Uh, not many places left to go. Guess I've got to go past these cobwebs where there are cave spiders, of course. Why wouldn't there be? And these cave spiders could probably do it coming out a bit faster. If I could, I would actually add a proper cave spider spawn to this thing, but spawners don't seem to want to work. At least I can't find a way to make them work. Which is unfortunate. I've forgotten how many there are. What's I'm hearing? A skeleton? Why am I hearing a skeleton? I have no idea where that is. I don't even know what's what mob that even should be. And then a uh, long way through the web. Actually, only just here. <laughs> Although if you do go all the way, you do get an extra prize. Although you've got to go all the way through the webs. So you need to come here to another silverfish tunnel. That is what I call these generic dirt tunnels. They're silverfish tunnels. Because the idea is that a silverfish dug them out. And then spiders just randomly decide to occupy them with their nests. That's meant to be the idea at least. And you can definitely see why I chose Bane of Arthropods on my sword, rather than sharpness. I mean, you could argue that sharpness will take care of spiders pretty quickly anyway. And I say, you are about to be proven wrong. There are certain spiders which can't be taken care of really quickly. Any more silverfish? I'd like say I should be getting ambushed around about now. I, I've, I've moved like a whole three blocks. Where's my ambush? Okay, and then we come to a room that we have to drop down into. And this contains our mini boss. We have a boss and a mini boss, and this is our mini boss. Um, so our way's blocked, but we can always click to remove our plant. And apparently, we have just woken up all mouth. So where are you? There you are. There he is. And this is why I really wanted my Bane sword. This guy. This guy. As you can see, this guy's hardly a pushover. Well, pretty easy once you're prepared. What do you give me? Some absolute crud. Oh well. But on the plus side, our ways unblocked so we can make progress I think what the hell is this room no wait I'm, I'm lost in my own creation wow no we need to head towards a zombie and it is open 
Wow, I just got I just got lost in where I was. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm getting lost in my own straightforward, very linear tunnel. And here we are on the other side of the cave in. I'm just thinking, if someone uses an enderpearl, they could potentially manage to bypass the cave in. Oh well, they don't get to throw it over mouth. Right, continue through the mine shaft. More mobs at the end. About a bazillion zombies. And they're behind me. You do not get a chance with this one. You are fighting. Whether you want to or not. Um, unfortunately, we do have the whole thing about mobs not ooh, not normally being able to walk on rails. I guess if enough push them, each other, then they can do it. It's an unfortunate thing about the decoration. And another spider nest, because we love spider nests. Come on, spiders, come out and fight. Get murderated and killed and everything and... Ah! Die! 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 Good spider! Oh, this would be so much more deadly if those cave spiders actually poisoned. It was my original plan, but I think it's fine. So, how was my armor doing? Oh, my armor's doing brilliantly. It's doing brilliantly. And we come down. Um, nothing particularly interesting here. Uh, last time I did the cave, I went through that way, so I'll go through this way. Not much of a difference. You just go through one slight split tunnel or the other. And you wake up the silverfish either way. And I hear a zombie. There is a zombie up ahead. Again, does I just try and help slow people down? So then, it gives time for the silverfish to appear and uh, attack everything. I think these lightning glitches are a little annoying. Perhaps I should uh, see about being able to turn this map into Eternal Night. That'll fix them, because otherwise I'm going to have to go and find every single lighting glitch and put a block behind it. And get them. Oh my god, loads of silverfish here. And a spider nest. Ah, all the arthropods. Now, of course, this dungeon isn't designed to be too challenging. It's designed to be more. It's meant. I'm actually thinking that this is going to be the easiest dungeon I hope that I ever make because this is going to be sort of almost the beginner's guide. To go, going through a dungeon. Okay, brilliant. And we've done it. We have come to the final chamber. And this is where you seriously want to hope that you brought your friends. I mean, it's possible to do this single player. But it's going to be pretty mad. Let's do this. Let's click to feel her love. And there she is. The Selfish Queen. And... <laughs> She won't be alone for long. This is the Silvish Lair. This is where all oh, the Silvish live. This is where the Silvish Queen lives. And you better believe there are going to be a million silverfish. Oh, God, this is terrible. Like, not only a Silvish spawning literally everywhere. Like, oh, God, like, you need to keep on top of these things. Like, if I spam click a bit, then I should be able to do enough damage with the uh, Bane Sword to uh, kill the Silvish quickly. Like... That or using the swipe attack just is going to be needed here. Luckily they can get caught in their own web, but unfortunately so can you. And that will just mean that that's going to be a lot of silverfish. Oh, this is, a, oh, this is nice. Fortunately, there are loads of silverfish spawning everywhere. And the silverfish queen also will spawn her own minions. So it is minion central around here. You, if you're not prepared to fight a billion enemies... You're, this is not the this is not the dungeon for you, and this is just her first ability. 
Um, once she managed to get to about 70% health, she'll even begin to start healing herself. That's the idea being that, uh, well, she, she'll heal while all of her children go and do all the fighting, really. And you're too distracted trying to fight them in order to hit her, and she's just going to heal it all off. And then she's got, like, one extra ability. At, when you get to down to 10% health, which will cause damage to you, to, abs to everyone in the room. Doesn't matter if you're wearing armor or not, it's going to do two hearts of damage. So I, I thought that would be particularly evil. Yeah, that's her, like, last-ditch attack when she gets down to low health. Oh my god, there are billions of them. There are absolute million, billion of these things. Oh my god, what am I so <laughs> Yeah, this is why I say you want friends. Because, uh, at least with two or three of you, um, you'll at least be able to, uh, take care of all the little silverfish. Unfortunately, I am on my own. And I'm a little worried. How's my armour doing? My armour's okay. I think my worst bit of armour is at half durability. But that just, but that just shows that if you're not prepared and you haven't got, like, unbreaking armour, or you, or you came in with broken armour, oh, you're not going to fare well in this fight. Silverfish just wear you down until you just... You just can't take it anymore. Basically, it's an in it's an endurance fight on their part. They don't aim to kill you outright. They just want to wear you down and wear you down. Okay, I think the with, with all the stray silverfish that spawn at the beginning have gone, so I've only got to worry about her children now. Which do spawn still every 10 seconds, but it does mean I can spend a lot more time on the queen. There we go, getting some nice damage in there. And, yep, she's definitely below 70% health, so I really need to make, keep on the pressure, otherwise she's just going to heal. See, her health just went up. She lost, I believe, 1% of her health, and I think she's got 1,500 health. So, uh, yeah. It, Bane of Arthropods, make sure you get your brig it. It's, this dungeon is going to single-handedly make Bane of Arthropods a useful enchantment. At least that was half the idea. Of course, identifying which one's the queen isn't necessarily that easy. I mean, she does have more hearts, which makes it more obvious, but then you get a giant swarm of them and you just gotta kill them all, because otherwise she'll just keep spawning minions and then... She'll just heal because you're not taking out the minions and you've got to deal with all them all. And yeah. You, this, this makes sure you've got the proper damage. Okay, I should win this. I can't foresee this being a problem. It's just going to take time. Which is all perfectly fine. Come on. Come on. Oh, stop hiding in that hole. There we go. Getting some good few solid hits in there. Very nice. Brilliant. God, this is such a good experience farm as well. As I think I said earlier, if mending basically fixes all of your problems with having to worry about armor durability. But you can see, I started off with fresh armor when doing this, and you can, and this is got unbreaking three, and you can see what it's like. Okay. So she's going to be doing, like, unfair damage to me, but I got her. Yes, brilliant. I uh, could probably do with a uh, death message, just to make it obvious that you killed her. Obviously, I'll have to add that as well to the list. Right. Oh, God, there's still more silverfish around. They are just everywhere. Right, am I done? I'm done for all I care about. Right, brilliant. And then, now this little area is opened up. And then we can claim our final reward. The silver bow and 1,000 
It's very nice. And let's end. And that's it. I've done it. And I can claim all my prizes. The silver bow. Not a bad bow. Got some impossible enchantments on it. So that's all nice. And uh, yeah, definitely taking that pink die. Most important bit of the uh, stuff I got. Everything else I don't need. Oh, looks like I got given it anyway. There we go. So that was the beta test of the first Woodyville dungeon. And I hope they'll be publicly available soon. And I hope you'll enjoy it. So, I'll see you all some other time.